Hi, card pal number one. All right, you guys. Let's let's see what the let's see what cards you got. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you guys. All right, so kind of to start off with here too, uh, before we get into this, because I didn't really do an opening here. I'm gonna do this for every single one of the piles, but uh, card pile number one. Listen, this week we got a uh, Mercury and Sun Kazemi coming up on the 19th. So on the 19th, a piece of information might come in. Something important might show up for us. Maybe a piece of information we've been waiting on. Uh, this would be a good time to do some research to find clarity in some way, shape, or form. Okay? Uh, the next day, we've got some squares of Pluto going on. So it's kind of hard this week to like... Mm, it's almost like once we get the information, uh, we got to make sure that it actually makes sense. Okay. Um, and is this, or maybe the information that we get might feel like it's in direct, uh, you know, fight and stance, you know, with maybe our growth or transformation, maybe something that we're trying to let go of right now. Okay. So just, just take your time this week. And especially because we're in between the eclipses, we're walking that hallway in between these two fuck off events, do you feel? Okay, so continue to take your time. Whatever information comes in, sit with it. Make sure it makes sense. Um, how is this helping or how does this feel like maybe this information is holding us back? Maybe even from transformation, letting things go. Anything having to do with Pluto right now, which is like it's death, rebirth. You know, this is like the really heavy stuff, the, the hard stuff that we got to get into and like face. It's, it's major transformation you know, in our life. And it, it asks us to really go to the deeper aspects or, or go deeper here, you know, in terms of the information that we're getting. Or again, if we got some kind of information and we're like, okay, what do I do with it? Go deeper with it, baby. How can it help you transform? Don't let this thing hold you back anymore. Let this thing work for you. <laughs> okay. All right. With whatever information's coming in this week, uh, just hold on tight, okay? And again, um, whatever gets illuminated, whatever gets clarified, whatever comes up to the surface here, um, maybe this would be a great week to like write things out, journal things out, talk about things. This is a great week for communication. Um, and I really think, really truly like with ourselves, okay? So uh, don't forget and don't feel afraid to get support and backup if that is what's needed. All right, well, so with that being said, card pile number fucking one. Y'all, look at these fucking cards. <laughs> okay, we got a major arcana card this week. Your very first one, talk about major change, major evolution, major moving forward. Guys, we got the death card. This card is also, um, Pluto is a part of this card too. Um, it stands for the number 13. So look for these themes to come up around the 13th of a month. Um, I also like to break these down to a solid number and go by month here. Um, you know, one plus three equals four. So I'm referencing either to the month of April. All right. Or like back to, or like to the 13th of a month. Um, so just pay attention to how these themes play out here. But death guys, again, what I was just talking about with Pluto, this is uh birth, death and rebirth. Um, this is, man, this is going deeper into our issues or deeper into the problem or finding some information, researching here, just going deeper so that we can transform whatever here is in front of us. This can even just talk about like a transitional time in your like life where we're moving from one phase to another. Guys, I pulled death um, for somebody about to get married and uh, she was a little worried, <laughs> but really it was just saying that like you're leaving this, this old life behind and we're moving into a brand new phase. And so whenever death shows up, there's something here about grieving the loss of, or yes, this might be an exciting time of transition and change and transformation, rebirth even. But that also means we've got to, we had to let something go in order for this thing to fucking happen. Okay. So death is like, it's a good card. And it's a difficult card. It's definitely a mixed bag. Rarely does it mean that somebody's actually going to die, but we'll deal with those themes as they come up. Okay. The next card is a court card. We got the page of coins. So traditionally, uh, these court cards talk about somebody coming on the scene to help or to hinder. I find that the pages here like to deliver a message. Traditionally, too, uh, throughout the tarot, they've stood for female gender and usually a younger person here. Uh, sometimes this can stand for a kid. Sometimes this can stand in... Um, 
maybe for just somebody that is just younger than you. But a lot of times with the page of coins, especially because this is pentacles, um, this always kind of says some kind of level of education to me. So whenever this card comes up, maybe our kids going back to school, maybe there's something here new that we want to try that we're new at, that we've got to take like a 101 class in. Okay. And so with the page of coins here, there's the discovery of wealth. If we dig, if we just dig deeper, I mean, holy shit. Um, and so, <laughs> so kind of information, we uncover it, we discover it. Um, it, to me, this is the card. It's a discovery of wealth. So also to what we've been investing in, maybe even figuring out the information, digging deep enough to know what to invest in. And so education is a part of this because we got to get some information, make sure we make the right choice. Okay. So again, this can either talk about somebody coming on the scene to deliver a message on something that we've been digging around, um, educating us with some kind of information, maybe talking about one of our kids or somebody younger than us. Maybe you hear that we're even teaching or mentoring and, or this is the energy that we got to take on. Uh, just saying that we might be new to something here. And so we're just discovering how wonderful this thing may be information, whatever here, it's something, it's something very new to us. All right. And then finally we got the two cups. Uh, with the two of cups here and with cups, especially guys, this is about our emotions and our intuition. And so it's asking us, where are we emotionally? Are you intuitively listening to what the fuck is going on inside of you? Um, it also represents the water element. Um, oh, I forgot to say two guys with the pages here, the page of coins, uh, with coins here, this person might, uh, be a, it's earth element. So it's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They might have their in their top three placements, innermost planets or heavy earth placements in the charts. Okay. But with the two cups here and being water, um, we just might be dealing with some watery emotional thing. And if you notice the people in the card, some kind, something having to do with love or partnerships or the way and even we are maybe even like in partnership with ourselves. Okay. So with that being said, so it's a yes or a no this week. I would say this is definitely a yes to digging deeper into your important relationships right now. Really understanding each other about who you are at your core, including yourself. This would also be a yes around, yeah, just going deeper with yourself within your relationships. Um, really solidifying something here. Um, I think that's a yes this week. This would definitely be a no if you're trying to be stagnant or not deal with anything or not face anything. Um, well, then that's a definitely a no this week, okay? Because I feel like this week for card pile number one, we not we may not be able to look away or this transformation that's coming for us. Baby doll is a death. You can't avoid it. You know, some things are all things eventually. Yes, okay? So how do we deal with that with grace? You know? All right. With that being said. <laughs> again um so if we were looking around love and relationships this week this can say a couple different things to me first for card pile number one this makes me feel like okay let's just go through the rough ones first there might be an ending here around a relationship okay um this could be friendship love farting back and forth forever it doesn't fucking matter okay but with death here we may find a piece of information that ends an important partnership or relationship here that we thought was, you know, this was a person that we were going to be partners with. I mean, look at them. They're clinging to each other and they look to be protected by this water. Okay. Um, also too, there was like an intuitive pull towards this person, but whatever information comes up, it ends this motherfucker. And this is really fucking hard. This is devastating. Also too, for some people, a child might be caught in the middle of this or our kid, we might be having to deal with that. Okay. And those issues, uh, just for some people this week now for another interpretation around this could even talk about, um, maybe somebody here is about to literally get married. Okay. <laughs> So somebody might be getting proposed to this week. Somebody might be proposing again. We're leaving this childhood behind. We're leaving the maidenhood, um, you know, the young adulthood behind us. Um, we're moving into, you know, being an adult, being married, having kids, like the whole shebang, but we've got to like give up this previous life or, you know, of singlehood, or we're ready to finally be coupled here. And with this information that we've learned about each other, everything that we've been through, we're ready to really invest in this relationship. It's time for a transformation. We're moving from just being boyfriend and girlfriend or girlfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend and boyfriend, doesn't fucking matter, whatever combo. Um, and we're moving into something else. Um, this is the next step is what it feels like to me. Okay. Holy Jesus. 
<laughs> now, if we were looking for a time period around this, again, there might be a reference back to the month of April with the death card. Um, and then with the two of cups, I'm looking here at uh, usually the month of February, around a second of a month. Okay. Look to see how the number two plays out. Even with the two of cups, that can even look like the, like the number 11 sometimes. So every now and then, you know, there, there might be a feeling here, maybe around a le uh, November the 2nd. Something might be coming up here. And again, or maybe like November the 13th, because I feel like at this point we're past it in October. Um, but listen, whenever you're seeing this, um, just pay attention to the number two, the number four, and the number 13. These numbers are going to be really integral to you right now. Or they might uh, be important in terms of what's developing here around love and relationships or anything that comes up uh, in this reading, okay? Um, but yeah, guys, with that being said, another interpretation around this for love and relationships, uh, we might, we might be working, we might be working with one of our kids here this week in better partnership with one of our kids. Maybe we're giving up old patterns, old habits, maybe old ways of doing things. Maybe we noticed how our parents did something here and we don't want to repeat that. Maybe we acted a certain way in the past. We don't want to be like that anymore. And so it's just like, being here with our kid right here and right now and discovering like here in this present moment is the only place that I have real power and I can actually help my kid maybe with our math homework. Okay. Or maybe with some kind of uh, just getting involved in the daily life. This could even be like giving up, you know, or transitioning from like maybe just working 24 seven to maybe spending more time, you know, with a kid or a person here that I love wanting to be at home more, investing in the home space, investing in the home and family. So I do feel like for the most part, this is really beautiful around relationships this week. For for most of you guys, this is transitioning into something better that we're investing our time, energy, love, and all the good stuff in. But also for some of you guys, whatever information comes up around a love relationship, at least the only thing that makes me feel better about that is that whatever's going here within this love relationship, this feels like it's the beginnings of it. Because I, I got a page and I got a two of cups. So this is like the beginning phases. So whatever relationship, at least like if, even if there is difficulty, we find some piece of information we got to leave. At least this is like still the beginning stages. This isn't like, and like, forgive me if I'm wrong in it, but it doesn't feel like we would be 13 years deep. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this would be more that like, I found this quicker or I paid attention to this or I felt this certain thing. And especially from my past, what I've learned here. And it's like, I don't need to stay in this relationship. This is already thrown up red flags. I got to fucking go. And so I can already see my transformation, my healing process that I'm even starting to recognize, uh, you know, when these relationships aren't making sense or this isn't a good partnership, or whatever information comes up, you know, it doesn't make make me feel good. And so I'm listening to that now. I'm not staying in something until it dies. I'm just saying, you know, this doesn't work for me and I'm getting out before I get really, truly invested. Still, that's a positive thing, y'all. Okay. Now around career and work. Damn y'all. Uh, for some of you guys, we may have thought that something had literally died here and gone away, but hold, hold on to your nippy noops. All right. <laughs> something might be coming back and a partnership is coming up here and it feels like it's going to be lucrative. And especially with the page of coins, we might actually find that the more that we dig into this, like this thing actually works out for this is a much better partnership than maybe something else that we were waiting on. Or again, maybe something came back from the dead. Uh, we realized that like, maybe we have the money now to invest in this, or maybe we've got backing here and it feels like a yes around partnership for the most part with work this week and career. For some of you guys that we might be letting go of some, maybe some of you guys are debating about whether or not to maybe come into better. I don't know if some of you guys this week are thinking about in terms of work and career, either taking on more educational stuff, like teaching stuff. Or there might be a fight around like maybe doing more of what you want or maybe like education might be a, a battle this week. What do I let go of? What do I put on the back burner? What do I just let die out? You know, and really just kind of aligning with putting, investing in saying yes to transforming here, something that really makes more sense to me um, in terms of what I want to fucking do. If I'm going to invest my energy, love, time, effort, I want to put it into something I really feel like is my strength here or something that I can bring to the forefront. But again, for some of you guys in career, we're either starting all over again and we're getting a second try at something and, or we, we are reworking something, starting it from the ground up, but working some old elements here. 
uh, but for the most part around career and work, this feels really beautiful to me this week. It's almost, I, I want to say to you, step into this new position, step into this new period and really just kind of do your research, dig deeper, come into better alignment with yourself so that the next steps show up effortlessly for you. Okay. Okay. Now around health, this is where it gets interesting. Okay. I don't necessarily like this. So I'm going to say this one the first, okay? I'm going to say this as delicately as possible. There might be some issue we might be hearing about. There might be some difficulty here with somebody's... There might be a worry around a child and their health, okay? Maybe there's the fear here that death is coming for this kid or that we're worried and that we're fearful. Okay. I want to say here with the two of cups though, this is about coming into alignment with what it is that we got to do, finding the kid, the health. Like if we just dig a little bit deeper, we'll find some more information. There's a feeling here to me, especially if this has to do with anyone's child. We feel like we're knocking at death's door. Something really difficult is happening here. Dig deeper. Somebody else has information or we should be able to find something here that actually is going to make sense and, and help this kid. Okay. So this is just like some research, asking people, finding those connections, um, and then finally investing in this thing, like maybe taking our hard earned money with something that's actually going to be fucking good here. All right. And help here with a kid. Oh my God. For anybody that's going through that, Jesus Christ, I am sorry. I can't even fucking imagine. Okay. But listen to me, just dig deeper, ask around, start talking to people. Um, this might be more of a rebirth here. Okay. But it does feel like we're at the 11th hour here around a child, possibly for some people who oh, baby Jesus. All right. I hope that resonated for no one. Okay. Okay. Um, but again, you know, if it did, Go and do the research. Talk to somebody here. There might be a younger doctor that might have something he wants to offer, something that he finds. Say yes, baby. There might actually be some kind of connection here. And again, call back to the month of April or around the 13th, around the second month of February. Question marks. Okay. Um, okay, this is kind of weird. For some of you guys, for some people this week, with death and the page of coins and the two of cups, some of you guys might be looking at stem cell and stem cell research. That's really interesting. Okay. Um, maybe we're using stem cells in some way, shape, or form to, like, heal ourselves. That might be a part of, like, the healing process or somehow that's introduced. That's so wild. I've never seen that come up before. I don't, have you guys ever heard me say that? I don't think I've ever said that before. Anyways. Um, yeah, this is pretty wild to me. Okay. Okay. Um, I think for some of you guys this week, we should be getting positive news around freckles and moles. Okay. No, there, I don't feel like there's going to be a death here. Um, this may have been the 11th hour thing again. Okay. So well done and go get yourself checked. Please get yourself checked on a regular basis. Blessings. All right. Uh, for health, anything else for health? For some of us, we might be looking at a place for a parent or a person here that might be transitioning, okay? And so we're looking for the perfect place to get them. For some of you guys, we might actually be bringing someone home. And I feel like for some of you guys, you might be redoing the basement, redoing the bottom floor, redoing something here. We're digging and we're reworking, reshaping, maybe making more room, more space for somebody to come in here and to partner up with them, have them in the home. Okay. We might actually be like refurbishing, redoing, uh, you know, the house, the home itself. This feels good to me though. Okay. And again, this will be a beautiful place for this person to transition or this might even not even be death. Okay. This is just somebody here might be transitioning here. Okay. And you're making room for them, which will help them health wise, get back into alignment with themselves, feel loved, feel seen, feel supported so that this person can literally thrive and live. Okay. Guys, for anything else this week with this combo, god damn, this is a power punch, y'all, right to the taint. <laughs> okay, like for real, this is a this is a pretty heavy pull here, but this is good because it's like again, whatever's uncovered, whatever's discovered, helps me come into better alignment with myself. Even if I gotta let somebody, something, something go. Okay. And so whatever we got to let go here, just know it's gonna lighten the load so that we can redirect our energy into what's most important. 
Also too, for some of you guys that literally might be renovating the home, we might either find like something comes back cheaper or it's not as bad as we thought that it was, or we really find the things that we want to put in the home. That feels good to me. Please, Jesus, let that part be for me. <laughs> All right. Um, and again, with the two cups, this is beautiful. This is alignment. This is partnership. This is love. This is good. But again, it's the beginning stages. So um, it just feels like whatever's going on here this week, trust yourself. Okay. Whatever we're beginning here, and especially if it's a refresh rebirth, something happening, um, I'm begging you to trust yourself, invest in yourself and in your education or whatever information here that we need in order to get to a better balanced partnership. Again, not only with other people, but with ourself, you guys motherfucking got this. <laughs> All right. Car pile number two. I didn't really do like a whole intro, the astro fuckery this week, but I want to give you guys a heads up. Okay. Um, because this week we do have, uh, the sun and Mercury Kazemi. Uh, so whenever that happens, some kind of information, especially with Mercury here is going to get brought to the forefront. Um, you know, maybe some kind of information you've been waiting on, something you've been looking towards. This could even be something out of the blue. Okay. But something gets clarified, something gets seen, something gets understood, maybe at a deeper level. Um, the next day, I think, uh, something squaring up to Pluto. <laughs> okay. So just a heads up, uh, that like whatever information might come up or whatever thing surfaces here, whatever clarification we might get might feel like it's indirect, you know, fist to dukes, you know, with whatever, you know, that we're trying to move ahead on or transform on or shed or let go of. Okay. So just take your time this week and remember it is the week in between eclipses baby doll we opened up one or actually we closed one door last week behind us we're walking down a hallway towards an open door at the end okay so no looking back no going back no clawing back open that door none of that bullshit baby doll all right no we don't ain't nobody got time for that this week okay um, and again, whatever information comes to the forefront here, use this to the best of your ability to help you transform and realize that whatever goes down, whatever is exposed, whatever is beautiful, whatever comes to light, whatever we understand now more clearly, deeply, there's no looking away. And so how do we integrate this into, again, our own transformation? Don't let this information stop us from moving forward in our life or doing what we know is best or going back on a decision that we know is best for us. No dumb, dumb bubble gums this week, y'all. <laughs> All right. Do you hear me? All right. Um, and then just remember, we got another eclipse coming up next week. So this week's going to kind of have that same feel. All right. So again, we're in eclipse season. We're moving through a hallway. We might encounter a ghost or two. Might smell in a couple spots. Okay. When was the last time we cleaned in there? <laughs> okay. Clean it out. Clean it out. Get your brooms out. It's tis the season. Get your brooms out, ladies and gents. All right. And cleanse out that space. Really take care of yourself. Um, slow but steady wins the race, especially during eclipse season. Whatever information comes in, let it settle in before you say something, take action, do something. Okay. Take a beat, then take action or do what you got to do. All right. Let's turn these puppies over. See what the fuck we're working with this week. Bitch. This is gorgeous. Fuck yeah, card pile number two. Not too shabby. All right, listen, these are all mundane cards talking about like everyday stuff. We don't have any major arcanas in here. So don't feel like any big fuck off situations could be coming. This does feel like, um, listen here, like long story short, card pile number two. You need to rest, ho. All right. <laughs> you guys know I'm saying that in love, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> Look, whoever's mad about it, be mad. Whatever. <laughs> I mean it with love. But listen, the four swords is tranquility. This is peace. This is chilling the fuck out. Let's get into it though. So with the ace of swords, the first one here. Look, this is an ace card. This is a yes. And with swords here, this is around our mental space. Where are we mentally? Are we here in the present moment? Are we freaking out the, about the future? We're stuck in the past about something. What are you doing? And so give yourself the proper tools in order to move forward in your life and do the best that you can. Um, that's by saying yes to whatever mentally here that we've been thinking about new inventions, new beginnings, new things we want to say, just new insights. And so I really think that honestly, this week, this Mercury, uh, Sun Kazemi might really bring something important towards y'all card pile number two. So pay attention around the 19th. This might set your panties ablaze. <laughs> Okay, here's to hoping in the best way possible. But I think with these cards, this is pretty damn beautiful. So again, with the Ace of Swords, we're getting a yes here. With the Ace, it also stands for the number one. So I'm going to be referencing around the first of the month. Um, I'm also looking 
towards the month of January. So something might be important here. All right. And then second, we got a page card, you know, it's a court card here. Uh, whenever the pages show up, traditionally, these are females uh, within the tarot, but we're not, we don't go, we, we don't care about the gender here. I'm just talking about traditional sense wise. All right. Pages usually talk about females here, or there's a younger person here on the scene showing up uh, sometimes to fuck shit up, sometimes to be helpful. I find that the page of cups and most of the pages here deliver messages. And so again, here's the second new insights, new beginnings, new thoughts, new inventions, a message being delivered. And usually this is a surprise one, like surprise, bitch, it's love. I mean that, do you know what I mean? <laughs> this is also one of my cards is surprise pregnancy, surprise engagement. Uh, there's a surprise here happening that usually leads to babies in some way, shape or form. Again, traditionally speaking, not everybody that gets married has kids. I get that. But uh, for the most part, that's what we expect in our, in our society, in our culture. So, um, at least in the USA and the good old <laughs> motherfucking USA cook all. So with the page of cups here, um, it's kind of just saying like, listen, there's going to be a surprise motherfucking message coming to you this week. It's look a little message in the bottle. It reminds me of that. Um, what is that? The police or is that just sting when he was solo, whatever, whoever sang message in a bottle. If you get that this week, uh, that might be significant. We might hear that. Okay. Just recognize, I don't know, man, <laughs> if that song comes through, that song comes up, uh, just know something's on its motherfucking way. Uh, but again, with the page of cups, this is traditionally a good message, a beautiful message coming through. This is a younger female bringing this message forward, or this message just gets delivered to you this week. You might be delivering a message to somebody else, but it usually has themes of love. It's a surprise. It feels like a shock. Uh, but man, it's deep. It's real. It's true. Woo. Um, I want to see what the page is too. It is young. So again, that's why it's usually like my pregnancy card first and foremost. Um, but again, whatever message is being brought to you here, again, this feels fresh, new. This might be from a new player, a new person. Um, or again, this might be a new love interest where it's like, Ooh, shit, we just caught feelings. All right. And then finally we've got the four swords. Okay. The four swords here again, we got swords. So we got swords and we got cups. So this is going to be a very mental and emotional week. All right. Um, but with the four swords here, um, again, with the number four reference back to the month of April around the fourth of a month. Swords, again, are talking about our mental space. Where are we mentally? Again, this is the card of tranquility, peace, chilling the fuck out. This is my sitting on your hands card. Take a fucking break. Take a fucking beat. This is like the minor companion to the hermit, you know, but like in a more chill way. We got to get it introspective, but this is more about literally just no burnout, please. We don't have time for that. So somebody's taking a break and chilling the fuck out. So. We're looking for a yes or no this week. I would definitely say that this is a yes. And especially with the ace being here. Traditionally, the four swords is a no card just because it's telling you to rest, recoup, chill. But like, I would say that this is mostly a yes this week. And especially around communicating something here that's you've really sat down and thought about. <laughs> if this is off the fly, shut your dirty mouth and don't say a fucking word. <laughs> if this is just off the fly and you're just feeling it on a Tuesday, shut the fuck up. Do not say a word. <laughs> okay. So it's a hard no then. But like, if this is something we've actually sat down and thought about, have been introspected, introspective about, then yes, it's time to deliver a message, especially if you're the one that's delivering it. Okay. And I also think that uh, yeah, again, it would be a no this week if we're just flying off the handle saying it's something in the heat of the moment. No, don't do it. Okay. Don't be a dumb, dumb bubble gum. Think before you speak. All right. Um, in terms of love and relationships, let's listen. This can mean a couple things. We might get a positive pregnancy test. We might get a positive pregnancy test this week. Right. And so this might shock the shit out of some of you guys. Uh, but some of y'all might be fucking pregnant. Jesus. Okay. And or we've got a pregnancy coming up here. Maybe there was difficulty back in April around the fourth of a month. We may have also lost a child or had to take time. Chill. Okay. Um, maybe here, maybe we got pregnant or the pregnancy is happening around the first of a month, no later than January. And with the page of cups here, again, this is a surprise pregnancy. This is one of those cards for me. Um, Anything else around love and relationships? Yes. Um, somebody might be coming through that has really been sitting down and thinking about how the fuck they feel, how the fuck they feel and what they think about that. And like, they've really been sitting down and considering like taking their time with their fucking feelings. And they might be delivering a message this week to tell you that they're in love with you. 
or that they care about you or that they want to be friends or maybe even here especially if there's been a period of separation between you and somebody maybe somebody's been sitting down and like going over it like thinking about like all the good times and it like leveled them okay it fucked up their shit for a minute where they had to take a little breaky poo okay but somebody had enough maybe time to sit down and think about stuff take a beat build a better foundation with the number four here because that's what fours feel like to me so there's protection keeping up a barrier with fours but also there's something here about building a new foundation or starting from the foundation up building a solid foundation you know and so i feel like maybe this person is rebuilding themselves or maybe through a period of difficulty maybe this is even you but like really sitting down thinking about this relationship what was important to me Maybe in the ways in which I fucked up, the other person fucked up. How could I have done this better? Blah, da, yada, yada. And the good times. But it leveled this person, okay? And so they had to sit down for a second and really think about this. Um, and especially, again, if there was a period of separation. So, again, somebody's ready to deliver that message of love. Like, they're feeling ready to cut themselves free from the bed, from the safety zone here, and just say what the fuck is in their, is in their heart. I actually think that's pretty beautiful. And again, if that resonated for you, maybe that's something that you've been going through. Just again, make sure we've sat down, we've thought about it, we've really contemplated what the fuck we're saying here before we go deliver something like, I motherfucking love you. Okay? Now, if this is just friendship or a sibling or, you know, uh, you know, whatever other type of partnership besides like, you know, real love here or something, um, or true love or, you know, romantic love, I think is the better word for it. Um, because I think you can have true love between best friends, too, or siblings. Or, do you know what I mean? Anyway, the point is, <laughs> before I get too deep into, you know, semantics. But um, I feel like the romantic love this week is is really wild with this one. And again, this feels like this would be, this would feels like it would be a start over. And especially if this is something, because if somebody had to sit down and think about it, this would have to be a start over. Or if somebody had to sit down and think about it, yeah, this would be a brand new beginning within the relationship. And so that's why we're showing up with like these younger cards, these beginning cards. Okay. For some of you too, around love and relationships this week, we may have been waiting for information around an important female, maybe younger female, maybe a child, possibly for some of you guys. And so maybe we've just been waiting patiently to hear about what's happening with a kid or a younger female here, possibly. This could just be a younger child or a younger person that we give a fuck about. So we might be hearing word from them this week. Maybe this kid has been sick or down. Okay, so we might get word this week. Or maybe this is a call for you to reach out to an important kid that we know of maybe has been having difficulty lately. Uh, maybe they're just going through a rough time. Maybe they're just not feeling good. Whatever's going on here. Don't be afraid to reach out and communicate. Tell them that you love them. Write them a little letter, a text message. Send a fart signal in the fucking wind. <laughs> Yay! Whatever you got to do that's going to reach this kid, uh, let them know that they are loved because I do feel like um, a kid here might need to hear that. All right. Or just a younger person, somebody younger than you. Um, don't be afraid to send that message and be like, I love you, ho. I'll come fight your fucking demons. We got this together. You're not alone, right? Let me snuggle in next to you, boo-boo. Look, there's a little boat. Let me shimmy that over and put it right next to you, okay? Or come here, cutie. Let's get a little shower. Come on. Clean yourself up. Let's get you in the boat so we can get rolling again, okay? So somebody might just need a little backup, a little love, a little help this week. And they might just need a little loving word. And so, again, for whoever picked card pile number two, there might be somebody here we need to reach out to this week. Let them know that we love them. We care about them. You're not alone. Everything's okay. I love you. And you're not by yourself. I don't think you guys understand sometimes what those words can mean to somebody. I know they've saved my life a couple times. God damn. So don't be afraid to reach out and say it. And what's the worst somebody's going to say to you? Fuck you. I hate you. Um, and I don't love you back. Yeah, I guess that'd be pretty ugly. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Fair enough. But I feel like if we're saying this to somebody younger that's already going through a difficult time, this doesn't feel like that this week. That feels like somebody's going to be very receptive to it, probably needs it more than you realize. Or to some of you guys this week, don't be afraid to deliver a message of love to somebody you know that motherfucking needs it. Whoop. Um, also, too, for some of you guys this week, maybe this is more in the health thing, so hopefully I don't forget it. And we'll get to the health thing. Okay, around career and work. 
We've had to be patient about something. We've been waiting on something. We've been waiting for a ship to fucking come in. We wondered if that bitch got sidelined. <laughs> we should be receiving a message this week. You guys hear me, okay? So around work and career, we should be getting a good message. And yes, they want you. Or yes, they like your idea. Yes, they're going to go through ahead with a project. Um, yes, you're the motherfucking best. Quit being a mopey bitch about it. <laughs> okay. Like, I just feel like work and career is actually going to be really good this week. And again, it might even be a Thundercats go. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, Avengers Assemble, Thundercats go. <laughs> might be, we might get the call this week, you know, that something is back on like Donkey Kong uh, career and work wise. Um, this would also be a really good indicator to bring your new thoughts, bring your ideas. Don't be afraid. I think they're going to re be received openly and maybe somebody here has been stuck at work like i don't know where to go what to do i've just been resting waiting for this information to come in um you know and then all of a sudden you titty shake into the room and you're like blap here it is and they're like fuck yeah and then again hop in that little boat and sail off to sea <laughs> okay no more being stranded on land i don't know why but like i just got a reference to one piece in my head so if some of you guys on carpal number two have been watching one piece it's such a good show I love it. I love it. I just, I think they did it so well. Um, especially if you like anime and, and things of that nature. I'm a fan of like all genres. So I, I just, I love a well told story. I, that's oof. That's a gift. And I dig it when I'm working on myself. So how to tell a good story and tell the, for me, it's telling the story of people's lives. Or if I'm reading for you, telling the story of your life so far. So I appreciate a good story. Watch one piece. That's going to be weirdly particular for some of you guys. There might be an extra message in that. And again, with that message in a bottle uh, song coming through too, with Sting or the police. <laughs> hey, you guys got some weird shit this week. Card ball number two, but I think it's weirdly is going to make sense for some people. Okay. Um, let me see. Anything else for work and career? Again, yes to your new ideas. They're going to be well received. Yes to your new projects, things you want to take off on. Again, it feels like we're going to be getting yeses this week. And I love it. Support. Fuck yeah. I want to work with you. This is amazing. We don't have to wait anymore. Our, our ship's coming in. Literally. Okay. All right. Around health. Again, some of you might be pregnant this week. It might be IVF. Because that looks like a needle. That looks like a, a knife. There might be surgery here in order to maybe clean out some fibroids for some of you guys. Interesting. So that we might be able to have children. There might be some kind of surgery or something done around the uterus or the fallopian tubes or the ovaries in order to have children this week. Maybe we're just waiting for this word to come in. Or maybe it, it's side, the issue is so bad, it's like literally laid us out in bed. Maybe some of you guys are getting your period so bad you can't even like move. Um, yeah, you get the jam. Um, <laughs> look, for some of you guys this week, so I feel like if a dude is watching this, there's, there's one dude considering this. I think some of you guys are thinking about getting snipped. Okay. <laughs> So yes, I think some, some dudes might, or their husband or their partner might get snipped this week and we might be sitting on a bag of peas. Okay. <laughs> it's much easier for the dudes. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So there might be talk of that this week. Somebody might decide to say yes and go do that. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, IVF or actually just getting pregnant or that was just the good time that was needed. Do you feel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> comes along prop up your feet after okay babes <laughs> and traditionally again if we were asked if we were wondering about a gender for the child i would say just based on these cards and the tradition of it now it would it would differ person to person but i think for the most part i feel comfortable saying that this might be female here okay especially with the page of cups again um, so if we're hoping for a kid, hoping for a little girl or feeling like a little girl is coming through, maybe also too is now is the time for some of you guys to start to speak to her in spirit, especially if you're ready for your little baby girl to show up, let her know when you're maybe at night, when you're about to go to sleep, say a little prayer, say something to her, let her know what's in your heart and that you're ready for her. Okay. This is huge on communication this week. And especially if there's a child in spirit that you would like to speak to, or that you would like to give birth to, or you're ready or don't be afraid to speak. And, and again, it's almost like in these peaceful, relaxing moments in time, it's when we can best connect and, and feel that coming back to us. Okay. Um, anything else for health wise? Some of you guys are going to need surgery. And again, I feel like it's going to be around the reproductive system for a lot of you guys. Some of you guys might actually have some spinal cord issues stuff going on too. And again, we might have to figure out, we might have to do more than one surgery. Uh, we might have to figure this out, but again, I feel like, uh, fluid down the spinal cord, everything should be okay. Um, we should be all right. 
This is the test might come back okay this week if we've got to get some kind of spinal cord issue with, I don't know why that's spinal cord to me today, but that's the jam. Okay. So we might have to also deal with that as well. And again, these surgeries, they should go well. You're going to be laid up for a hot minute, but everything's going to be all right. Guys, for anything else this week, for card pile number two, just please fucking pay attention also to whatever messages we, especially if you have a child in spirit that you miss. Okay. God bless you to the fucking parents that have lost a child. My heart is with you in every fucking way, shape, and form. I cannot even imagine. So I feel like this week too, card pile number two, especially in your quiet moments, your reflective moments, call on your baby, call on your loved one in spirit, you know, and, and just receive the messages. Look for the signs this week. It might be extra out there. Okay. Letting you know that they're with you. They love you and that they're every day in every way with you, loving and supporting you. Okay. So pay attention to these new thoughts, pay attention to these feelings, take time to rest card pile number two this week. Okay. Because that time to rest will literally help you, um, pull on that information, contact the ones that you love, or just be open and receptive to the beautiful new things that are happening for you. Now, everything's going to be okay. Do you fucking hear me? All right. All right. Be open to new love coming in this week. Card pile number two. I see you. And then finally, card pile number three. Hi, guys. I was a dumb, dumb bubblegum and forgot to just say a little something at the beginning. So, again, I know this is the shortened version this week, so thank you guys for your patience with me. But, <laughs> you know, putting back together a house is hard. We're doing the best we can. So, just a little heads up this week. We got Venus and, uh, not Venus. What am I talking about? Sarah, try again. Mercury and the sun. We got Mercury and the Sun Kazemi this week on the 19th, okay? Um, what does that mean? That means usually that whenever that happens, um, something is illuminated around what we're thinking or we're speaking about a piece of information comes to us that maybe we've been waiting on. Maybe there's clarity that shows up some way, somehow. Uh, maybe by our own mental processes and just going through stuff, uncovering things, dealing with stuff. Maybe a message gets delivered in. Maybe you got to deliver a message this week. Uh, but something is clarified. Something is seen very um, there's no rose colored glasses. Okay. So whatever comes through here, it's, it's a clarifier. Okay. It's going to cleanse babe. Um, cause the, the light of the sun does that it illuminates all. And so, uh, whatever information comes in this week, uh, go with the flow of it. Okay. Um, now the very next day, I think Pluto's squaring up some way, somehow to somebody. So whatever information comes in here, it might feel as though it might go against or fight with, or there might be a fight with uh, the transformation that we are going through or some kind of death or release or process here. And so this information might stop us in our tracks in a way, you know, make us rethink something, go deeper with something, reassess something, reprocess um, maybe even really let something go. So listen, this could go a million different ways this week, but however the information lands for you, may it help, may it heal, may it guide you. Okay. And if the information coming through doesn't feel like as though it's got that kind of el energy or element to it, baby doll, you are the lead role here. Direct that fucking energy to the best of your ability. Okay. So take whatever comes in and make it work for you. <laughs> oh, yay, is what I'm saying, if at all possible. Now, let's let's flip over these. Let's flip over these cards. Ooh, let's talk about it. All right. Card pile number three. You guys got mundane cards too, okay? So no major arcana of cards. I don't feel like this is going to be a big fuck off week. Even though, listen, we are in between eclipses, okay? So remember that this is the hallway that we're walking through. Last week, we had to shut a door. This week, maybe we're realizing that maybe that was a good thing with the information coming through or that maybe we got to reopen that door and grab something so we can shut that bitch again. Okay. <laughs> Whatever happens here, pay attention to that information and may it help you. Uh, that shows up on the 19th or around that time frame. Uh, but next week, we've got that second eclipse. Okay. And we're moving towards an open door at the end of the hallway. Okay. Walk. Don't run. Okay. Take your time. <laughs> don't run. Okay. Take your time because what, again, whatever information comes in here. And then the next day we got Pluto fucking around like this is, we're going to have to go deeper. Okay. We're going to have to take this information. We're going to have to go deeper with it, or we're going to, it's going to transform us in some way. All right. So take the information in, let it soak in for a beat, process it, then do something with it. Do not act right away. All right. All right. Okay, with that being said, let's look at these cards. Uh, the first one you got here is the Knight of Wands. 
This is a court card. I think everybody got a court card this week. So relationships, remember we are in Libra season. So relationships are still going to be the jammy jam right now. Okay. Um, but also within the court card here, it talks about somebody coming on the scene to either fuck shit up or, or to help. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys. The Knight of Wands is my least favorite, least trustworthy knight. Uh, now with the Knight of Wands here and with Wands, it's usually a fire element. Uh, this person has an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, usually in their top three placements, innermost planets, or heavy fire placements within the chart. I found that too, a lot of times the Knight of Wands, um, and because I do a lot of love readings, so when this guy pops out, I'm like, Jesus Christ, he's just, a lot of times this guy, he's just very flashy, he's very excited about the next best thing, he can't sit still, he, it's, it's, it's fighting and fucking around the world, okay? And the reason I say this, because a lot of times with the Knight of Wands, this guy's got a military background, all right? Not every military dude, you know, is a, you know, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, okay, <laughs> obviously, but uh, that Mars kind of fiery heat energy um, is, is usually behind um, uh, the energy of this card here with the Knight of Wands, okay? And so again, this guy's like, he's just fighting and fucking around the world. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Um, but, but I do want to say with the Knight of Wands here, um, maybe the more positive aspects with him is that there is that excitement. There is this, what is going to happen next? And this ability to take a leap of faith, you know, and, and really go after what it is that we are passionate about, not letting things stop us or hold us back, not our fear, not our worries, not our bullshit. And so for that part, God bless, because this is an initiator. Uh, this is somebody that is uh, bringing fresh energy into a space, a realivening things, getting them pumped back up. Listen, this is the dude you want to party with not party against <laughs> hey, for real though. This, these guys know how to party. So I, I just would say maybe the more difficult end is that like, maybe he can have some anger issues here. Um, doesn't hear no very well. Uh, it's going to find yes at whatever cost. Um, just, just very young, kind of reckless and not really thinking about things. But again, if this is more the energy we got to take on, this is saying, bring new fresh energy into something, look towards the future with excitement and passion. And what, what are your goals? And, and like, how can we, get uh, the excitement and the passion and the joy back into this so that we're ready to take off on this thing and do big things. Okay. Um, now here with the three of wands, again, we got fire guy, y'all harp on number three. This is going to be, this is going to be a spicy week. Y'all got wands. <laughs> okay. So I also want to say too, this is going to be a week of initiation and action. How are you, how, how are you facing your fear and doing it anyways? How are you, and I, especially for fire here with me, I believe fear, uh, fire is very spirit led, spirit fed. And so how am I listening to the call of spirit? Am I taking action on things that are in front of me that I'm passionate about that I give a fuck about? Fire also asks us, what are we manifesting? What are we creating? And so there's a conscious call here to make sure that like this passion, this power, this energy is being directed in a way that actually supports what the fuck we want to go towards. Okay. So, okay. With all that fire here this week, it's going to be a spicy one. If you guys don't take action or initiation on something, you're missing an opportunity. Now, with the three of wands, this is my putting on a party, putting on a wedding, putting on a theater show kind of card. We got to gather the resources, the people, the fuck off to make this thing happen. Okay. And so what does that look like? Who do I got to call now? Who do I need to reference? What do I still need? You know, and, and so what do I got to do in order to get this thing, this rig rolling? Uh, now, with the Three of Wands, uh, again, you guys can see this is a card of action and movement. This is working with others towards a goal. Um, and again, with the Three here, this is going to be a reference back to the month of March or around the third of a month. A little gnat. I don't know if you guys saw that little fly coming through. Shoot. Um, so, forgive me. If we're just like, or Sarah's just being magical. <laughs> No, there was a gnat. I swear to God. <laughs> okay. Um, now, again, with the three of wands here, this is action. This is movement. Get that booty scooting. And then finally, with the nine of wands here, um, this is my can't stop, won't stop card. This is the thing that I would just warn with the nine of wands is like, please don't burn yourself out. Okay. And so we do need to take stock of our energy and what can we actually deal with here? Now, traditionally in this card, this shows um, a dude next to like nine rods. He's leaning on one. You can tell he's a little war beat and a little worn down. He, his head's bandaged up, but he's like, it reminds me of Steve Rogers, um, Captain America. If you guys watch any of those movies and he's like, 
um, you know, after he got his ass kicked before he turned into Captain America, he was that little scrawny thing. He keeps getting his ass kicked and he keeps standing back up and he's like, I can do this all day. Okay. That's the feeling of this card. <laughs> like, hey, keep getting your ass kicked, but you're going towards a goal and you're not going to give up now. We know there's going to be another fight. We know there's going to be another issue. We know there's going to be another obstacle, but it's like, I can't stop. I've come this far. I'm not giving this up now. And so I'm just going to keep going towards my goals. I, I like this card, the imagery on it, because it's like there's a chandelier. There's, you know, guiding the way. But it's like, I know the way. I know what I got to do. And so what can I leave behind here that might be maybe too much on this journey? Or that might be like maybe bogging me down or that might be like standing in the way. I think it's important to still have our guard up right now, especially with the nine of wands showing up. Um, but again, how do we make it towards our goal by not letting anything hold us back? Or there's just one more obstacle here before we reach the goal. Don't give up. Also too, there's going to be a reference back to the month of September or around the ninth of a month. Now, if we were looking for a yes or no, I would definitely say that this is a yes on taking action this week. <laughs> well, yeah. A booty, booty, boot scooting. <laughs> Yay! I mean, seriously, this has so much movement. Look at, he's moving away. They're going as a group. He's riding off into the distance like the fuck face McGee is. Like, <laughs> we got lots of movement going on, okay? So there's there's so much going on. So much light to guide the way. But the person at the end, it was like, maybe, oh, man, we'll get to this too. But maybe I am the light. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I would definitely say yes this week in terms of movement. This would be a hard no if you just want to sit down and do nothing. Sorry, love bug. You got things you got to do this week. Get up and get that ass. Get them ass cheeks clapping. All right. Get on your goals. All right. If we were looking around love and relationships. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, if we were looking around <laughs> love and relationships, uh, there might be a uh, fuck face McGee coming back around. Okay. With the Knight of wands. Um, oh boy. Um, I feel like this one for some of you guys, this might actually make some of you guys laugh. Um, I feel like this is a guy that just keeps coming back around. He just doesn't get it or he's not hearing no. And it's like, dude, I'm literally not, I don't have patience for, time for any of this. And, like, you might literally be busy with work or busy doing stuff. And, like, this guy just keeps coming back around. He, like, can't stop, won't stop. Like, this guy just is not picking up the hint. Um, if that resonates for some of you guys this week around love and relationships, I think you guys just need to tell him flat out, like, this ain't working. And, like, I gotta go, ho. Okay? Like, this just isn't working. This just isn't working. And with the Knight of Wands, like, again, like, I would prefer a king or a queen to you, my love, whomever be watching this. I prefer a king or a queen to you, not a knight or a page, okay? Sometimes this can just speak to the person just being younger. But again, I'm not going to lie to you guys. He's my least trustworthy. He's my least... <sighs> he's just, he's fighting and fucking around the world. <laughs> This might even be saying to you too that like maybe this was a part of a third party situation. Maybe this person's coming back and being like, I choose you. I wouldn't trust him for shit. I wouldn't trust him for shit. I wouldn't. And especially with the three of wands still showing up here, there's other people still involved. There's there's other people he's still talking to. Or there's other people that are still holding torches for him. Okay, but look at all the torches he's holding. <laughs> he even has one in his mouth. <laughs> God damn. So there's that. All right. He may even see I'm leaving the torches behind, but we can clearly see he is not. He is not. He is not. He is not. Okay. So for some of you guys this week, if a fuck boy comes back around, please say no. Okay. Just please for the love of everyone involved. All right. I really mean that. <laughs> just say no because this person is not healing has not done their work they're they still got they've got people in rotation and no matter what they're saying that they can't will give up on this connection on um, that they left those old flames behind nothing could be further from the truth i really let just look at symbology my love okay I know for some of you guys, I'm sorry I laughed, especially if that was really hard to hear, but it's just like the audacity is what I'm laughing at. Do you know what I mean? It's like where does this person get the audacity? The, this and listen the knights are traditionally dudes but this could be a female too so if you got a female coming in that's acting like a full face mcgee and again if we came from a situation where it's a third party situation other people were involved this person has not left it behind i'm sorry otherwise they'd be showing up as a king more empowered or a queen more empowered this three of wands would be a two of cups 
okay? Ready for partnership. This person's ready to fucking <laughs> continue to do what they're doing all across the world if they can, okay? So there's that. There is that. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Would not be surprised if this person does, in fact. And again, look, this isn't across the board. This isn't talking about every single military person being a fuckface McGee. I just found with all the love readings that I've done over freaking time, it's just over and over and over again, he keeps showing up in that space. Okay. But again, the wands here, when we talk about work and jobs with wands, these guys need acts of bravery, acts of service, protecting, you know, those that can't speak or it's protecting and serving. That doesn't always work out when the person is not embodied. But when we do have an embodied, you know, human that's able to serve and protect and watch out for people, make sure people are okay. Oh my God, chef's kiss. That shit's hot. But this guy is not. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. So just be careful. Some of you guys run love and relationships. Now run other love and relationships. This is interesting. For some of you guys this week, we might be adding a new friend to the group. Or there might be a new person coming on the scene, okay, to go, to like to come in with the group. Or we might be having another person tag along with the group of us. Um, it definitely feels like there might be a little bit of struggles at first with this person, but I think eventually this person will integrate, honestly, okay? And so this person might be a little hot and heavy at first, or this person might be a little loud, <laughs> show offy, showboat. Just give that person a little bit of time, okay, to ease into it. Uh, because I actually think this person might be for the long haul, okay? And guys, I know that's so... Listen, there's a bunch of different people watching these videos, and so I just got to give what I give, okay? Um, around love and relationships, anything else here? Uh, for some of us, our kids or our teenagers might be going off on a trip here. Listen, trust it, especially if they've got to travel the world, okay? And and forgive me, I don't think that your kid's going to be doing uh, the things that I was talking about before. This might just talk about, like, especially if this is, like, you know, um, with high school or whatever, um, or maybe even younger, if they're taking a trip and it's maybe to a different part of the world or they're taking a trip here with a group of friends and maybe this is for sports, maybe this is for school, whatever's going on here, um, it actually feels like this is going to be a really great trip and this is going to teach this kid how like to like can't stop, won't stop or not give up on our goals or that when we work together with other people in cahoots, we can accomplish great things and we don't give up and we work with each other. Okay. So I actually think that for some of these people around love and relationships, uh, there's going to be a trip here for some people's kids. Like let them go is what I'm saying. Okay. Please let them go. Let them have this experience. I think something really beautiful is going to happen here. Um, it just feels like camaraderie commitment. And especially if this is sports, this is like really your kid might come out on top. Or your kid might come out as a star here in this in some way, shape, or form. Okay? Somebody's kid might get discovered? Interesting. So if there's something here we want to do around sports or things of that nature, again, too, please go do it for your kids. Okay, okay, okay. Um, again, for, again, another reference here to the month of March, month of September, 3rd or the 9th, all right? Um, around work and career. It's time to initiate something. You've got some, oh, somebody here has got an idea that they're ready to take the fuck off with, but it's new in the beginning. We need to make sure that this thing makes sense and that the passion is not only going to help take care of the initiation, the starting of this thing, but it's going to extend throughout the entire project, please. You can't be working by yourself, boo thing. You might be the face of this, but we need other people to help us get this thing off the fucking ground. I know that your can't stop, won't stop, but you can't do this all by your itty bitty. You're going to need help. Who can you call upon now that gets your vision gets your goal that backs you up that's fire too for some of you too you need to hear don't give up on your goals for career and work there's something coming forward here there's going to be an opportunity there might be three opportunities three people coming towards you or an opportunity here to work with others in a group setting towards your goals and this is going to set you on a fucking journey that's going to be incredible do you fucking hear me and this journey is going to go for a while this is, thing is Mm -hmm. And listen, it's not to say that there isn't going to be struggles. There's not going to be hardships, but it's almost like I'm ready for it. I fucking got this. I trust myself now. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Maybe here speaking for those that have no voice, protecting people in some way, shape or form might be some of the work. Maybe speaking up about something, bringing light to something. Um, yes. Okay. You kind of get the nature of that. Now... I actually feel like this could be a really exciting week around getting things off the ground. 
Okay. Especially in work and career. God, it's going to be gorgeous. Don't give up on your dreams and your goals. Card pile number three. All right. Around health. Some of y'all have been thinking that you're still a spring chicken. Mmm. <laughs> Time to check them knees, babes. <laughs> hey. Shit. For some of you guys, some of your joints are hurting. We need to... Can you all just take a fucking multivitamin and stop pretending like you're 22 anymore? Quit it. You're an old goose, baby. <laughs> you're not a spring chicken. You're an old goose. <laughs> okay. So, get it together. <laughs> you know, I just... This is interesting. I think for some of you guys this week, we might have a partner here that is having maybe some performance issues and there might be speak of medication that might help a lot. <laughs> okay. So we might be, it's been a long road to get here, but finally we might be ready and say yes. Okay. For some of you guys, you might be initiating health wise, like exercise, taking care of yourself. You're maybe might be doing it with a group of other people, not by yourself. Maybe we're doing this through work and a group of us are doing it together. Maybe this is just some of my friends getting together. We're all trying to support each other, get the passion, get this thing rolling so that we don't give up on our goals. I actually really love that. Um, on health this week. The number three keeps showing up here. And look, I'm looking at this candelabra there with the three. I got the three here. This is interesting. There might be three different issues for some of you guys. Or we might have inflammation in three different spots in the body. Please don't give up on looking for something here. Uh, maybe for some of you guys, working out in a pool might literally help reduce inflammation. And you might be going with other people, meet friends here. Okay. Or swimming might be another form of exercise here. That's super duper helpful to help maybe re-strengthen my body, retone it, do what the fuck I got to do. Maybe this is where I start so that I can get into the next stretching and then I can start working on strength building. You get the thing. Slow but steady wins the race. Working with others towards a goal is huge. Um, for some of you guys too, the medical thing, we've had to have a lot of patience around something, but again, it feels like some kind of boats coming in, some kind of answers and we got to move quickly. All right. So boot scoot towards this thing and don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on finding a resolution to give up on finding an answer. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. Okay. Uh, for anything else this week, you guys, for card pile number three, um, it's time to initiate. It's time to move. It's time to start. It's time to get something off the ground. It's time to not give up on yourself, but please don't get burned out. So make sure that we're also doing this with a group of people. So it's not just on our shoulders. You cannot, you cannot achieve success this week if you don't work with others and ask them to help and to get support. Okay. Also special kudos to those that are protecting, serving in an embodied way. And if some dumb, dumb bubble gum is trying to come around to convince you that they have done their fucking work, I would really think about it hard. <laughs> okay. Just be careful with some of these crazy fart faces out here. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Um, but I think other than that, besides that, it's really good for sports. It's really good for the kids this week. And it's good for working in teams. Okay. So continue to trust yourself. And just recognize that you motherfucking got this and that you're the one in charge. Where do you want this energy to go? May it go towards your future that's bright and beautiful. All right, you guys. I hope to God this made sense. Any and all of it. Please, Jesus. All right. Middle fingers for no coca for yes. I fucking love you guys. Let me know how this was for you. I'll talk with you guys soon. Bye.